No 4x4 has won more often at the Tow Car Awards than this, the Land Rover Discovery. Since 2007, there's only been one year when it's failed to pick up some silverware. No car stays on top forever though, and the Discovery 4 is now three years old. Is the big Land Rover still our favourite 4x4? It doesn't take long behind the wheel to remember why we've rated the Discovery so highly for so long. Even with a large tourer behind you, towing seems effortless in the Discovery. The big 3-litre diesel has enough oomph to tow just about anything you can get a pair of wheels under. We towed a Stirling Elite Searcher, a big twin-axle caravan, from 30 to 60 in just 9.9 .9 seconds. Once up to speed, nothing upsets the big Land Rover's composure. Few tow cars are so relaxing to drive over long distances. If you need to swerve in an emergency, the Discovery is remarkably responsive for a car weighing some two and a half tonnes. Although it can't match the poise of the latest Mercedes M-Class, the Land Rover puts the caravan firmly in its place. Passengers might not thank you for throwing them about, but otherwise we can't see them complaining. Even those in the third row have reasonable head and leg room, something you can't say about too many seven-seaters. Each row of seats is higher than the one in front, so everybody gets a good view out. The driver definitely has the best seat in the house though. The high up driving position gives a commanding view and the seats are well padded and comfortable. If you need to carry lots of luggage rather than lots of people, all but the front seats fold away to leave a huge 2,558 litres to fill. Talking of big numbers, the Land Rover's nose weight limit is a whopping 150 kilograms. Unusually for a new car these days, the Discovery has been supplied with twin 7-pin electrics. Running costs are steep and we could only manage 20.7 mpg towing around our economy route. The price is high, but strong resale values are some compensation. Yes, it's expensive to buy and run, but if you have the means, the Land Rover is worth it. The Discovery remains the undisputed king of the heavyweight tow cars.